What's up, family? Welcome back to Make Me Unusual. So today, I am in my pajamas because... Because... And uh, we're going to be talking about fragrances. So I have a set, sample set, from Toka Perfumes. So if you're interested in seeing the eight perfumes that are in here, then stay tuned. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. So I got eight Toka perfumes in here. I've had this set for a while actually, and I did actually purchase a fragrance because of this set. Um, we're gonna be going through these today. Today there's eight fragrances in here, and all of them are on the box there. Um, so we're just going to be going through these. So let's start with the first one. So the first one we have in here is Toka Florence. It's in this, it's got like this yellow, almost like pale yellow liquid. Uh, main accords for this one are white florals, tuberose, green, fruity, and animalic. Nice. Ooh, she's so Sweet. So top notes for this are pear, apple, bergamot, grapefruit leaf. Oh, she is very sweet. Middle notes are gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, violet leaf, iris. Base notes are musk and white woods. Why don't I have that? This is giving me like banana-y tuberose, like um, Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. Hmm. Okay, wait, hold on. I have smelled these before, but it was a long time ago. Don't tell me I was just sleeping on... Toka Florence. I get pear. Bergamot just brightens it up a little bit, but I mostly get that tuberose and it's like banana y. Mm. If you like a really banana y tuberose, you gonna like this one. It's not like overly like pungent floral it's really just like there are some florals in the background but the tuberose is very upfront with this I like this I don't know why didn't why, why didn't I purchase this I would get this <laughs> I would get this I like tuberose fragrances and this is a very like banana -y tuberose I just need to see if it's too similar to um, Perfect by Marc Jacobs because I have Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs so if it's too close then I might not buy it but if it's not we might have to get that one. So that was Florence. Let's go on to Stella. So Stella as you can see has got like more of an orangey look to it versus Florence. Uh, main accords for Stella are citrus, floral, white floral, and powdery. And the top note in it is blood orange. So I am curious. Alright, so we got top notes of blood orange, bitter orange, watery notes. Middle notes of lily, freesia, wild orchid. Base notes of musk and sandalwood. Alright, so it does have, like I do smell the blood orange and the bitter orange, but I don't like this one. It smells like, I can't find it, but there is, what, my dad is a printer and back in the day there was this soap that he would use. It had like scrubby bits in it. Um, that he would use to get the ink off of his hands, and it smells like this. I, <laughs> it brings back a memory, but it's, I don't like it. 
I do smell the blood orange, I do smell the bitter orange, like, all of that is there, yeah, but I don't like how it smells. It's not for me. <laughs> so yeah, it's all there, bitter orange, blood orange, it got some watery notes, the lily and the freesia kind of give it like this light floral, but I don't like it. <laughs> a fan so that was Toka Stella we're going to not be getting her all right next one we have Toka Julieta this one it's got like a like a light 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 green tint to it main of course for this one are floral fresh powdery green fruity woody musky white floral sweet yellow floral all of the things um top notes in here are granny smith apple and elang Lang. so let's see now all the toka fragrances are like floral based fragrances so top notes for this one are granny smith apple elang Lang, pink tulip Ooh. Middle notes are lilac, lily of the valley, iris, or orchid. Wow, I don't know why I said that weird. Middle notes are lilac, lily of the valley, iris, orchid, rose. Base notes are musk, heliotrope, sandalwood, amber, and Virginia cedar. This is a very springtimey fragrance. Nice, light, sweet, um, florally scent. Nothing new, nothing revolutionary. Just you could probably get this elsewhere it gives me kind of like body spray vibes kind of gives me like daisy um oh so fresh vibes it doesn't smell bad i do like how it smells i would love like this is the kind of thing like you clean your house in like the middle of spring open all of the windows and let the breeze in um this that's what this is like taking me to yeah it's just a very nice light airy kind of aquatic floral sweet floral fragrance I like it but it's nothing to like jump at so that was Julietta if you like green like sweet florally light green fragrances you would like that next one we have here is toka maya now she's got a purple ombre bottle main accords are woody fruity earthy patchouli iris powdery ozonic warm spicy floral and aquatic Ooh, that's beautiful reminds me of fragrance so top notes are black currant and violet leaf middle notes are iris flower jasmine damask rose and the base notes are patchouli oak moss and sandalwood and this reminds me of sea um the new sea sea intense that came out in 2021 it also kind of reminds me of Flower Bomb Midnight. However, Flower Bomb Midnight is a little bit like it's soapy on top of that. Yeah, it reminds me of Sea Intense, which I really, 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 really like. But Sea Intense gives me like. No, they're, they're fairly similar, but Sea Intense, I don't know. I think it's just done better. Toka Maya reminds me of Sea Intense, however, Toka Maya smells like the older version of that fragrance. Like, it's a little bit dated smelling, although this only came out in 2018. But it does, it does remind me of Sea Intense 2021. It's just got this note in the back of it that just like reminds me of like early 2000s fragrances but it does smell good 
If you like Sea Intense 2021, you will like this. You might like this. But it's, I don't know, I think maybe the alcohol content's kind of high, or it's just, it's just a little too, like, perfumey smelling, which is odd because we're smelling perfumes. Like, it's supposed to smell like perfume, but, like, I don't know, it just... It's giving that like, whoo, you're wearing perfume kind of feeling. I do like it. It reminds me of Sea Intense. But because I have Sea Intense and I love Sea Intense and I prefer Sea Intense, I won't be buying this, but could be one to check out. Whew, okay, we are halfway through. Let's get on to the next one. The next one we have here is Toka Gia, which you can see is empty um, for good reason. Toka Gia is in this stunning like ombre red bottle. I love it. If you've never had a Toka fragrance, the top part, like the cap, feels like a doorknob. Like it's heavy. The whole fragrance screams elegance, the box that it comes in, the engraving that's on, the door, the doorknob, <laughs> the engraving that's on, the cap, like it's all very beautifully done. Love the bottles. But for Tokugia, main accords are rose, citrus, sweet, vanilla, soft, spicy, powdery, woody, floral, fruity, amber. I really, really like this scent. I bought the scent back when I was obsessed with pink pepper. Just, it's like the sweet, spicy, kind of citrusy um, rose scent. It's tangerine, pink pepper, uh, middle notes of Turkish rose, and then these notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. Very, 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 very nice so pretty like it's just like a sweet rose um tangerine a little bit of spicy the the tangerine gives it that citrus but then it adds some sweetness um it's got a little bit of a spiciness from the pink pepper but when i bought this i was obsessed with pink pepper um and i realized that i like turkish rose very specifically um this pairs very 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 well with um nest very well with nest turkish rose their perfume oil or nest uh seville orange that per perfume oil that those like you can use either one of them if you want to lean more citrus versus more rose but like this layered on top of those one it lay it just lasts forever and two it just brings out such beautifulness of the fragrance and then like one fragrance can smell like three different fragrances like it doesn't change it so that it smells different but it just amplifies the notes especially because there's very simple note structure to this but it is so like dynamic although there's only a few just if this was done with orange, I would not like it. The Mandarin is so very good in this and so very specifically needed for this fragrance. It just balances the rose so well and gives a nice sweetness. So yes, highly recommend uh, Toka Gia. Fantastic. Toka Gia actually was the only fragrance out of this entire um, eight set that I bought full size. Um, it was just that good. Loved it that much. So the next one we have here, it's got this like pinkish, uh, like light pink liquid to it. This is Toka Simone. Uh, main accords are floral, orzonic, floral, ozonic, aquatic, fruity, citrus, fresh, musky, green, woody, and tropical. So by the note structure, this sounds like, um, by the note structure, it sounds like L'Imperatrice by D uh, Dolce & Gabbana, which is on my list to buy, 
So I wonder. <laughs> hmm. It's an aquatic fruity scent. The top notes are watermelon, apple, and lemon. Mm -hmm. I get the lemon most and then watermelon and then apple. Middle notes are freesia, frangipani, rose, and ylang ylang. Base notes are musk, woody notes, and amber. Now, this does remind me of Limperatrice, but Limperatrice, um, the watermelon note is much stronger and it's much sweeter, a little bit more transparent. So I do think I still prefer Limperatrice, but this smells good. If you want a very floral version of Limperatrice, if it's too light, too transparent, I would recommend Toca Simone. It is like Limperatrice, but with more floral, more of a backbone to it. I actually really like this. It kind of, kind of smells like soap. <laughs> um, but like a good soap. I do like it. I think I'm still gonna buy Limperatrice. Yeah. This really does smell like a soap. I think Limparatrice is a little bit more playful, a little bit more like fruity, transparent. That has a lot of floral, like Toca Simone has a lot of floral backbone. Um, so it leans more into the soapy side. Like I said, if you like the idea of Limparatrice or you like Limparatrice, it's just not strong enough or it's not like it doesn't have enough of a backbone to it, then I suggest Toca Simone, but for like me, I would probably just stick to buying the Paratrice. Alright, we have two more fragrances left. So the next one we have here is Toca Colette. Toca Colette is a light purple liquid. Main accords are woody, citrus, powdery, aromatic, vanilla, amber, fresh spicy, balsamic, violet, and musky. Go ahead and give her a little spritzy spritz. Alright, so top notes are Amalfi, lemon, bergamot, juniper berries, mandarin orange. Middle notes are violet, pink pepper, jasmine, cyclamen. Base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, amber, Virginia cedar, musk, incense, and pine needles. Hmm. I don't... I don't love this one. This one is a very citrusy green fragrance. I can smell the juniper, which is nice, but this is reminding me of Gypsy Water by, um, by Rado. And I don't love it. It's a very, very lemony, like light, transparent kind of scent, which I mean is fine, but it's not like to me it's not like an edible lemon it's like a florally lemon and it just is a little too like astringent smelling i wish there was more sweetness to it but in terms of lemon scent, lemon scents, I'm just going to stick to Lyra. Um, if you like very sharp lemon or just sharper lemon scents, transparent lemon scents, floral lemon scents, I would try this. Um, but I prefer a sweeter lemon. So I will pass on Toca Colette. Be nice, like my house smelled like this though. Alright, last but not least, we have Toka Cleopatra, and it's a light pink liquid too, but the label is like a dark pink color. So the main accords are musky, white floral, fruity, powdery, patchouli, green, woody, citrus, animalic, tuberose. I like to fully saturate. 
the blotter card so I get a nice whiff. There's black currant in this fragrance because it stands out. Alright, top notes are grapefruit, black currant, green notes, cassis. Middle notes are jasmine, peach, tuberose, and then the base notes are musk, patchouli, amber, and vanilla. It kind of smells like lazy Sunday morning but with black currant it's the best way i can put it it's like lazy sunday morning with a heavy dose of black currant and because of that heavy dose of black currant and the fact that the rest of this fragrance is kind of dry and on the floral side it kind of smells like sea kind of it like reminds me of sea but doesn't smell like sea but one of the most prominent notes in C is black currant and the fact that it is like a drier kind of fragrance they're on the same path so this smells it's kind of like in the C family but it smells like lazy sunday morning by replica with just like a heavy dose of black currant i do like it i do like it now cleopatra is one i would have to wear on my skin to see if i would purchase it but out of what I've smelt today, it is one of the more interesting ones for me because not a lot of things have black currant in it. It's just a different kind of scent. That one I kind of want to try on my skin. So if I buy Cleopatra, you'll see it in a video come up. Um, but I do like it. So out of the entire box, the ones that I mm, kind of want to purchase are Cleopatra and Florence. Gia, I highly recommend, is my favorite Toka fragrance that I have tried. Um, so if you end up seeing Stella and... No, well, no, not Stella. If you end up seeing... Florence and Cleopatra in a video that you know <laughs> they went well otherwise check out Gia I highly recommend it and the two nest oils highly recommend those but yeah that was a quick go through of these eight fragrances so if you did like this video please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye